So as we know, by now, 2042 has quite a few bugs. But don't get me wrong, we have a lot of fun in it. It's been developed over three years. Uh, one of those years was in full lockdown. So there's two years not in lockdown. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's different rules all around the world. We don't know what people have had to deal with over, over the last three years of development of 2042. I do feel, in my opinion, that it's a bit of a skeleton crew maybe though. I don't think a lot of the people that we know worked at DICE originally on previous Battlefield games. Battlefield 3, 4, uh, Battlefield 1 maybe. Uh, I don't think a lot of them work at DICE anymore. Uh, could be wrong, but I've got a feeling a lot of them have left and uh, working on other projects. I do know some of them are uh, creating other game development companies and working on their own games uh, with their own passions and things like that. I uh, probably got bored of Battlefield series. I don't know. I'm working on it since 1942. Me, myself, I've been playing at Battlefield since 1942, so like 20 years or something. So I've been around quite a bit. I've played with current Dice devs, Floppy Ragdoll, used to play with him. Um, yeah, I've been, I've been around. I've been around a long time with Battlefield. So there's, uh, you know, I've seen a lot of things, ups and downs, Battlefield 3, 4. Terrible launches, real bad launches. I kind of stopped playing for a while uh, during the launch of those because they were that bad. 4 especially is very kind of fresh still in my memory. That was that was real bad. So yeah, Battlefield 2042 is, is nothing new for me, though I think it's the worst one yet. Uh in regards to the amount of bugs in there i mean i can't ever remember before being able to drive a vehicle up the side of a building vertically that's a yeah that's a new one uh, i think not to mention the steam reviews oh my god i'm pretty sure they're like one of the worst steam reviews now and also the player count is uh some of the lowest on steam at the moment for 2042 on the steam stats so yeah it's uh it's not doing too well over on Steam, at least. The UI, for instance, for me, is, is, is something I really don't like. And the, the lack of UI options, uh, being able to just scale the UI down and make it a lot smaller would just be a huge help with uh, regards to just, I don't know, just so much in your face and the scoreboard. There's no stats for your, your play and how well you've done. People like to see the numbers for their characters and how well they've done and see if they've improved. Uh, it's just it's just something people like to see. I do like the addition of uh, where you came as a squad in the in the whole game, kind of thing like that. And you know, there, there is stats there, but it's just it's not uh, not as much as we have had previously. There's a lot of missing content, a lot of missing content. Uh, if I remember, I'll put on screen now a list that I've I've pinched from somewhere on uh, Steam review of all the missing content uh, for you guys to pause and have a look at if you've not seen it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad if you look back at previous battlefields and a big, a big, big step back for content features. Just the crouch sprint. Why was that removed? That's like such a nice addition in, in Battlefield 5 and 1. I think it was in so nice to crouch sprint across the edge of a, a bush row or something like that. I don't know. It's just silly little things that are missing that just made Battlefield what it was. It didn't have the, these features in any other game and Battlefield had it and just made it so nice to play and its own thing and now it's just it wants to be something else it's just trying too hard to be uh cod uh definitely uh the specialists were aimed at more of the hazard zone mode and the goalposts were changed i feel i think that theory that it was going to be a battle royale slash raid survival game like tarkov um hunt uh vigor uh originally and they changed you know the goalposts or just tacked on the normal battlefield modes uh, last moment uh, just really makes sense with how the revives work the specialists make more sense in hazard zone and that kind of stuff it's just i don't know just really weird choices i don't know man i think the designer the lead designer worked on uh, my little pony previously so i don't know that's that kind of says a lot there don't get me wrong though there's a lot of fun to be had i've been playing with colo kirk and a few other people and we've, we've had a lot of fun uh, there's just so much potential still there to be had being a battlefield game there, there is those battlefield moments only in battlefield moments and uh you know we've had quite a few of those and when you when you wreck people in a vehicle it's uh you get a good kill streak and just the whole kill feed is just your guys names your squad is um it's pretty gratifying which again you know there's there's already been updates and uh, which is a good thing you know they're going to roll out a load of updates leading up to the end of the year we've already had one two updates i think uh, which is balanced ARs, which were super underpowered compared to the SMGs, especially the PP28, which was a laser beam, had no recoil, and was just like two bullets would kill somebody kind of thing, it felt like. But ARs have already had a buff. The PP28 has had vertical recoil introduced. The hovercraft is now weaker than a tank. Yeah, uh, that was super OP. 
Uh, everybody was in hovercrafts and they were just wrecking the whole battlefield. So they, they've had a bit of a debuff. And uh, there's, there's a lot of balancing going on. So hit registration, I think, has had a bit, had a bit of a tweak. Uh, gunplay itself, since the update that we've had already, there are more to be done as of this video. Uh, so, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fixes, I think, coming our way, which is, uh, which is you know, expected. It's needed. Uh, I don't want to see the Battlefield uh, franchise go this way. Nobody does. Uh, I've been a fan of Battlefield since day one. So, you know, it's uh, it's very good to see that DICE is on the ball here and they're, they're taking full, you know, responsibility for for the the state of battlefield and and and, and getting these updates out and already like i've said the, the gunplay feels feels great uh greatly improved i wouldn't say it feels uh, amazing i know consoles i've seen some reports that consoles are still having hit detection issues pretty severely it felt good on pc for me i did a lot of sniping tests i was getting kills more a lot more than i was before the patch pre-patch post-patch has been a lot better for getting uh kills with just any weapon in general really in hit reg on the pc so performance still again definitely needs working on performance anybody with below like a like a mid-tier pc is just gonna really struggle like below you really need a top pc cpu to i mean i wouldn't say i've got a terrible pc my 3900 x cpu and the 2070 gpu i can really feel how people are that's just like got the lower tier pc um components the ryzen 5 or a 10 series gpu i i yeah i can feel people would have a problem with that which is what you know is what we're seeing results from a 1080 just having terrible performance um i'm getting about 60 plus at performance but then saying that Colo was getting 120 fps so i'm not and he's got a 2060 and the 5900x i think so i think optimizations are just all over the place really uh, at the moment i don't believe there's been an optimization pass at all just yet uh, but they are aware of that. They are going to improve performance. I think last-gen consoles are really getting a kick in the teeth as well. It's very much a Cyberpunk 2077 vibe from the last-gen consoles. Really not running well there. So, yeah, we've had a lot of fun, though. Choppers, again, I'm having a lot of fun with the choppers. I, the only issue I have is there's so many anti-air around. So flams and the M5 rocket launcher or just other aircraft or just rpgs in general there's just like everywhere uh so you can't catch a break a lot of the time when you're in a chopper and especially with the uh the little bird it's just one shot pretty much and you're gone but uh you know if you get used to being a pilot which i loved i loved in battlefield 3 and 4 it can there's a lot of fun to be had in a, in a in a chopper but um it's uh yeah there's a lot of it so yeah let me know your opinions in the comment section below what are your thoughts on 2042 as of this uh these recent updates and you know ongoing towards the end of the year or towards christmas there's going to be at least one or two more i think uh, let me know in the comment section below either way your thoughts on the update that we have had post update and going forward with 2042 what you are expecting of the dev team and all that good stuff hope you are having a wonderful time leading up to christmas and not too stressful stay safe everybody i love you all and i'll see you peeps next time